Hi guys, this is Alexis from Reflections of a Bookaholic, and I'm here with another plan with me. This is my spread from last week using a summer kit from The Given Girl. And then this week, I am planning for the week of August 9th through August 15th. And for the very first time, I'm using a kit from The Pretty Pink Co. It is summer themed and leopard print, which I thought was a lot of fun. And while I've used a lot of icons from The Pretty Pink Co., Never have I ever used a kit until this week. So I show you the the deco that I added onto it, and it came with that extra full box with a darker skin tone. So I start off with the bottom washi, and then I move to the rest of the base of the spread. Um, I have been posting a lot of Play With Me's lately, and um. I've just been trying to crank them out because I really want to get caught up. I've been talking about getting caught up since the beginning of the year and it's September now. But um, I'm really excited because I see a light at the end of the tunnel and I do want to uh, post, well, I not purchasing a lot, but I do want to per, uh, post some hauls that I get, both sticker and book hauls. And I do want to start putting in a few... Um, play with me's um, for my plum paper teacher planner. Um, I use my plum paper teacher planner as my uh, functional everyday planner and I use the layout of the teacher planner but um, I don't use it for lesson plans or anything. I have a few videos up with that right now um, and my, my goal is to have just more diverse videos going up than just these Play With Me's. But right now I'm trying to get caught up and I'm really excited about that. Um, one of the things that I love about this kit, and when I finish this spread, it was one of my favorite spreads. And the reason why, especially lately, is because I got to do some layering and add deco that was not floral. And... Not only did I step outside of my comfort zone because I kind of gotten in a groove with working with florals, but it was just really fun to do something different. Um, I still have a lot of floral spreads planned because that's a lot what's on trend in the community right now. But for this week, I'm really happy to um, not have something floral, um, but also have something really fun like the leopard. So after I put down the full boxes, I do move to the sidebar. I used the sun-kissed full box in the quote box spot. I thought it was a little uh, plain, so I jazzed it up a little bit later. Uh, I'm pretty sure off camera. And then I put down the Monday through Sunday tracker and the two habit trackers. I currently track my vitamins, which are still my prenatals because I'm still breastfeeding. And I track skincare because I'm really bad at that. And I need to do better about keeping my skin and my face healthy. For the month section at the top, I just put down a box from the kit, turned it sideways, used some deco from the kit, and used a script from Letters to Apollo that said August. I'm kind of stumbling over my words. Sorry about that. I just have a lot of thoughts going on in my head at the same time, and my mouth can't keep up with my brain, I guess. So I zoom out so you can kind of see the layout, and then here you can see what I did off camera, and that is with the leopard headers. Those are from Sadie Stickers, and I just kind of used it to jazz up the date covers and that sun kiss quote box, which I had previously mentioned was looking a little plain. To get to the plan, starting off on Monday, I did put down a quarter box and a nurse grip from Alyssa's Craft Shop. Just to note that I started off the morning like I typically do, and that's nursing the baby. The baby and mommy stickers from Paper Shower. I then put down a, another quarter box. The other box might have been a third box, and this one's a quarter box. And I put down that file icon sticker from Crafts by Towie. Just to note that I needed some work time that morning. Um, pretty early while everybody was still sleeping because I knew we had plans later on in the afternoon. I then put down a square box from the kit. I used some leopard deco from Sadie Stickers and I used that playground sticker from Crafts by Towie just to note that we took the kids to Austin's 
parking pizza and I wish I had some more room to just put down everything that we did it was really fun we went to the batting cages we did like this 3d roller coaster thing that was a lot of fun the kids did some rock climbing some bumper cars some miniature golf golf it was a very fun day we kept them busy but we did have to leave um to go to my husband's softball game so it was kind of like a break for the kids um, because I'm sure they were really, really tired of being in the sun. But luckily we had like all day bands. And so after softball, we went back and did more of the same. Um, really trying to wear these kids out because I have no idea where their energy comes from. Hanging around with kids make me feel old because they have boundless amounts of energy and can eat endless amounts of food. So moving to Tuesday. I put down an arrow kit from the kit and layered over that a coffee sticker from Crafts by Towie. I just needed to note that I had an early hearing that morning and I knew uh, I needed lots of coffee. It appears that I tired, me and my husband, we tired ourselves out instead of tiring the kids out because they definitely woke up the next morning ready to go. I put down a flag sticker from the kit to note that we made lunch for the kids and then I put down a corner sticker from Sadie Stickers. It came in one of her $2 Tuesday sheets. I put over it that pen bundle from Crafts by Tally just to note that I had some more time and got to do some planning. That afternoon I layer over a clear circle sticker from Sadie Stickers and then put down a circle um sticker or circle box circle and box don't go together but a circle sticker from the kit just to note that we took the kids to pin stacks I used that mom and kid sticker from paper shower and I layered some leopard deco from Sadie stickers behind it I use a Sadie stickers leopard arrow and layer over it a bow checklist from the kit just to note that I had to leave pin stacks and come back to the house so that I could do some hearings on zoom before heading back to pin stacks to spend some more time with the kids. Um, I just noted is that Jacob and I found this um, ring toss game that we especially loved and we really found a way to kind of game the system and we had a lot of fun together playing that game over and over. He was very proud and wanted to show everyone how good we were and I love things like that because to me it's all about making memories um, and just slowing down and because it, it goes fast and there's it, it goes faster than I ever expected. So I depend on these memories to stick in my brain because I'm definitely getting old. On Wednesday, I put down a uh, quarter box just to note that I was super sleepy but also needed to nurse the baby. I layered over some leopard deco over that. I put down a third box. I don't I can't tell what that says. Um, oh, I had a... I needed to research an important issue for a case that I had. I layered over some leopard deco, some uh, garlands from Honey Inked, and that glasses sticker is from Crafts by Tally. Um, I had a special review hearing to attend, and then I moved to the afternoon where I put some leopard flags from Sadie stickers and then a bow checklist and jot it down a few things that I did. So behind every bow checklist is leopard deco and every single leopard deco whether it's clear background or a premium matte background is from Sadie stickers and all of the leopard deco that you see is also from Sadie stickers so if I forget to say it that's where it's from. <laughs> so I put down that third box and then I play with the deco a little bit. I pull it up because I realized that that mom and kid sticker was going to be rather large and kind of hide the deco so I pull it up so I could kind of put it behind the sticker so it still peeps through and I just noted that um, I had some mommy and baby time after we dropped off the kids and then we headed home super tired because we had put a lot in that part of the week we had to fit a lot of things in because in the previous week even though we had the kids we were quarantine, quarantine, quarantining because of COVID. Um, we were not COVID positive, but we had to quarantine until we got test results, which was super stressful to have so many kids and not be able to go anywhere. And by so many, we had four. That's that's a lot for us. We're rookies. That that's it was tough. 
So on Thursday, I just put down an arrow sticker and arrow sticker and a nursing script from uh, Alyssa's Craft Shop. I then put down a, a box sticker from the kit. I struggled a little bit to kind of make that work, but I it it came out decent. But I just wanted to note some work time. That laptop sticker is from the Giving Girl. I put down a third box and then a Zoom meeting script from Randy.Plans. And then I put down a bow checklist to jot down a few things that I did. That calendar sticker that's next to that is from Samantha May Sticks. I just noted that I had to fill out some documents for our refi. Needed to answer the endless amount of emails that are in my inbox. I needed to schedule some visits and I needed to go to HEB because the truth is I go to HEB every day. I pick up something from the grocery store every day and I find myself looking for things to pick up from the grocery store because it's such a habit. That playground sticker I've used earlier in the spread, it is from Crafts by Towie and I just noted that we took Jacob to the playground, we took Jacob and the baby to the playground, the blue playground because he notes them by color and we just met some of his friends and kind of had a play date at the playground. On Friday, I put down a quarter box and that laptop sticker is from Letters to Apollo and I just noted that I had been having some phone issues. I have to transfer my phones from my office and lately I really struggled with them. They weren't always ringing. It was such a pain in the butt and I, I finally had to tackle that issue because it was so problematic. It's already tough enough to answer my own phones. I mean, it's, uh, I don't, I'm not sure how that sounds or how that comes across, but answering phones when you're trying to work, it just really is very disruptive. But because of COVID, that was a big change in my office. It doesn't, it didn't, to me, make sense for someone else to answer the phone and then have to hang up the phone from and call me to tell me to call someone else back and then for me to call them back. So lately, I answer most of the time, well, a lot of the time my own phones, but when I transfer them, I had a lot of issues, so I needed to troubleshoot that. And I also jotted down a few things that I did. I noted that Jacob, oh Jacob, my husband Tosh had a surprise work party or yeah, a surprise birthday party over Zoom and um, his coworkers from work had coordinated with me to kind of surprise him and have gifts sent and, and treats and things like that. And so I was really excited to surprise him and pull that off. The uh, end of Friday was just park and Starbucks and then I moved to Saturday. So in Saturday I put down one of the last uh, smaller box stickers that came in the kit and I put over it a crib sticker from Paper Shower and I just noted that the baby slept in his bed all night. Um, the baby always starts off in his bed but it never lasts long because we um, made some unfortunate mistakes early on and we allowed him in our bed on some nights where we were really tired and he's really hasn't looked back from that. He has taken ownership of the bed and has made our lives pretty miserable. Um, and we don't get good sleep anymore and we started off great which is kind of the sad part. It would be different if we never got sleep but um, yeah it was stolen away from us because we were irresponsible on oh and on Saturday I just noted that I lazed around a bit and then I had to go to the domain and do some gift shopping because my husband's birthday was coming up and then I put down a half box and a leopard layering arrow and and the mommy and baby sticker from paper shower just to note that I had some time and I got to hang out with the boys I then took Jacob and we went to Target and um, with the sole purpose of letting Jacob pick out his own gift for his dad's birthday. And while I was in Target, I got some really, really bad news. And so I ended up taking Jacob to the park so I could clear my thoughts and um, just heard about a high school classmate and friend um, having a very, very sad um, passing, her and her son. And I was... It just kind of rocked my world. That panda sticker 
is uh, Tofu the Panda, and it's from Stick With Me Shop. And all I have to say about this is, um, in the work that I do, I work with kids, I often represent kids, and I oftentimes come into situations where people do not understand how domestic violence affects kids. And they say, well, so-and-so would never hurt my kids. But here's the problem. The problem is when they finally hurt your kids, oftentimes it's too late. And oftentimes it's panic or it's motion. It's always that one step too far. And so I was really devastated because I I could not imagine the pain and the hardship that, you know, you just never know what people are going through. And I see it all the time in the work that I do, but it doesn't make it any less devastating to see it so close to home. So, um, on a lighter note, moving to Sunday in the plans, I start off um, filling out, but not filling out, but putting down the stickers and the base of Sunday, just so I could see where I wanted everything. Um, just noted, nursing the baby, back to school shopping, that back that backpack is from Crafts by Towie, that uh, phone sticker is from Smith May Sticks, I had a call with Tanya, she was checking on me, I mean, I always talk with Tanya, but I know that particular Sunday she was checking on me, she knew I was very much in my head, and then we ended off, uh, I ended off with a checklist, jotting down a few things uh, that I did that night, um, it was bath night, I filmed a plan with me, and I had a late pumping sesh. And that's it. I zoom out so you can see it. Love this spread. Love the leopard and the and being able to layer and do something completely different. Did a vib wiggle and then show you the leftover stickers. If you enjoyed this plan with me, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. And definitely comment below if there's something you like, something you didn't like, or just thoughts you would love to share. I would love to hear it. Thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you next week. Bye.